Welcome to module 10. In this module, we're going to move away from, from Tanakh and move into the period between the end of the Tanakh and the beginning of the writings of the New Testament. Now, there's huge debate about this period. Sometimes the period is called the intertestamental period, the intertestamental. So intertestamental, so it means between the testaments, so between the Tanakh, between the Newer Testament. Now, when does it begin? Well, it's very hard to say. And the reason for that is because none of the books of the Tanakh are, are named, or at least they're not given a particular date, or at least very few are given an exact date as to when they, they were written. And so it's very hard for us to say when was the last book written or the last piece of Tanakh written. We do know that by 150 BCE, uh, there was a, basically a canon of the Tanakh. So uh, basically a group of, of documents which were seen to be the, the, the main documents of Tanakh. And we know that because it was translated at that point into Greek. So it was before 150, but how early? We're not sure. Some people will stop at around about uh, 400, uh, 400 BCE. Um, some people say, well, no, it must be a bit later than that. It would be in the time of, of just before the Maccabees, so in about 200 BCE. We don't really know when it began. But the same problem occurs on the other side is when does the intertestamental end? Some people would stop the intertestamental at the birth of Jesus. But of course, at the birth of Jesus, there still were no writings of the New Testament. Uh, some people would stop the intertestamental period at the beginning of the writings of Paul. Uh, Paul, uh, most probably his first letter was written around about 45 uh, AC, and, or CE rather. And what we need to realize is that that could be 45 then is the beginning. Or we could say that it really ends only once the New Testament comes together as a canon, as a collection of authoritative books, which happens only in the 4th century uh, CE. Now, that means that we could be talking about a period as big as 800 years, or as small as maybe 200 years. Either way, we don't know. In this course, what we will assume is that the last writings of Tanakh happened somewhere in the 3rd or 4th century BCE. So somewhere around 350, uh, around about that point, would be about the last of the official books of Tanakh. And then we'll go through till about the beginnings, or at least the, the, the beginnings of what we could call the, a universal church. So a church that's not just Jewish, but beginning to now be balanced with Jews and Gentiles, which would be about the turn of the first century. So all in all, about 400 years worth of writing, well, lack of writing. But as you'll see in this module, that in fact there wasn't a lack of writing at all. There was a huge amount of writing in those 400 years. They're just not accepted as part of Tanakh or as part of the New Testament. And so we'll talk about some of that process. But this period is most probably the period of greatest change, both in Judaism and in Judaism, therefore leading towards Christianity. And what we need to do is to look at some of those influences. Who, what, what was the, 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 both the, the political and religious environment that began to change some of the things that all the doctrines that were held by both Judaism and later on by Christianity. Because those changes are profound and often we don't have the sources of those changes in the official documents that we call Tanakh or New Testament. Those changes happen in the midst of them, in this intertestamental period. 